Today's video is all about the numbers. I'm sharing a real life example on how much I've been able to make by house hacking for just over five years and now selling that property. In my last video, I talked about why I am selling. So if you haven't watched that yet, you can check that out. I'll leave a link above and below in the description. In this video, you'll be able to see what is actually possible by renting out rooms in your house and then selling that property just a short five years later. So you can get a realistic idea on how much you would be able to make by investing in real estate and house hacking. I am Tiffany Thomas with WealthyTiffany.com and I achieved financial freedom at age 38, mainly through real estate investing. So if you are looking to achieve financial freedom at a young age as well, hit that like button and hit the subscribe button and we are going to dive right in. All right, let's talk about the home that I purchased back in 2016 toward the end of July, right after my birthday. It is a town home that was built in 2009. It had three bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms when I I first purchased it and it had an unfinished basement which I eventually finished just two years later in 2018 so then it became a four bedroom and three and a half bath place. It is 2,071 square feet with a one car garage and it is a townhouse, so it has an HOA, a homeowners association. All right, there are a lot of numbers to go over today, so I'm just going to break this down step by step. I purchased the property in 2016 for $211,000. My down payment was 5% since I was living in the property. It wasn't just a rental property, which was $10,550. And just as a side note, I could have done a 3% down payment, but I ended up going with 5%. And I ended up paying the full amount for the closing costs because it was a seller's market. So it was even hard to get a property back in 2016, although it seems to be even harder now. But that amount was $6,300. So my loan amount ended up being $200,450 at a 3.75% interest rate. So in order to get into the property, it cost me $16,850. And like I mentioned before, it could have been a little bit lower if I would have only done 3% down. So it would have been $12,630. And now let's talk about the expenses over the five years that I've owned this property. For the principal, interest, and taxes, I have paid a total amount of $69,253. And it does include paying a little bit extra on the principal. My insurance was $1,680. And when I first purchased the property, the HOA payment was $160 per month, but that had gone up over time. So now it is $210 per month. So all in all, I've paid $11,420 for the HOA payment. So if we add those numbers up, the principal and interest, the taxes and insurance, plus the HOA payment, we get a total amount of $82,253. And since I finished my basement in 2018, that cost me $20,063. But it also made the place a four bedroom, three and a half bath instead of a three bedroom, two and a half bath. Plus there's now an extra living room in the basement. And over those five years, I've spent about $525 in repairs or maintenance, such as replacing the disposal in the kitchen. Since it's a newer property built in 2009, there hasn't been that many repairs to do. And since there is an HOA, everything outside the home is taken care of by the HOA. So I don't have to do any of the yard maintenance or even shovel my driveway when it snows. Finishing the basement and taking care of those maintenance or repair items brings that amount to $20,580. $88. I did not include any of my utilities because you would probably be paying for those utilities anyway. All right, let's talk about the rental income that I have created by renting out the rooms in my home. Currently, if I take into account the mortgage payment, which includes the principal and interest, and including the taxes and insurance that I pay, then I am profiting just over $400 per month. So essentially, my roommates are paying me to live here. And just to break down the numbers for you, if we take my mortgage payment, which is my principal and interest, that is $953 plus the HOA payment of $210 plus $26 for my insurance each month, and then $140 for property taxes per month. We get a total of $1,329, and currently my roommates are paying me 
$430. So that gives us a profit of $401. Over these past five years, it's just over five years since I bought at the end of July and I'm going through the end of October, I have made $91,088 in rental income. Just think about that for a moment. Over a period of just about five years, you can make over 90 grand in rental income. So if you are hesitating on house hacking, just think about the numbers and how much money you could actually make by sacrificing a little bit, by doing dishes a little more often and having someone else in your space. It could still be worth it. For me personally, it's been very worth it to have roommates and I've created some really great friends by having roommates. So it is something to consider. All right, if we take the amount that it took me to get into the property, that $16,850, and then we add the mortgage payment, the principal interest, taxes, the HOA, and the insurance, which comes to $82,353. And then we add on top of that, me finishing the basement and the repairs that I have done, which would give us a total of $20,588. So the total expenses are $102,941. You can subtract that amount from the rental income that I have made. So if we take that $102,941 minus the $91,088, that gives us a negative $11,853. So if I were to keep this property for just seven months more, I would break even alone on just those expenses, assuming I don't pay anything extra in repairs. But here's the thing, it's essentially not really negative 11,000 because if I was to be renting another place, for example, if I rented out my current place, that would be about $2,500 a month. So that would be about $150,000 in five years that I would be paying in rent. Instead, I've created over 90 grand in rental income. I just wanna give you an idea, a comparison on what it's like to own your own place and house hack, rent out your room, or even rent out part of the house against just paying money in rent. But the thing is, that's not all that we take into consideration. We're going to take into consideration how much my property has appreciated over those five years, and not to mention how much I've saved in taxes because of all of the deductions that I can take by owning a property and renting the rooms out. And if you are curious on how to lower your taxes, I do have a video for you. I will leave a link above and below in the description. You can check that out later on. I'm sure you've seen how much house values have risen over just the past short while. It is incredible. I bought my place for $211,000 in 2016 and am now selling my place for $430,000 in 2021. That is the price that I am under contract for as long as it gets appraised for that amount, which if it doesn't, it should be fairly close to that. So that makes me super happy. So I feel like I've gotten a really great return on my investment. If we take a look what it cost me to get into the property, the closing costs that I paid and the down payment, plus finishing the basement so I could have an extra room to rent out, that total amount would be $36,913. So let's put all of the numbers together. If we take that amount that was the principal and interest for my mortgage payment, including the taxes and insurance and the HOA, we have a total amount of $82,000. $353. And then the closing costs plus my down payment was $16,850. And the amount that it cost me to finish the basement and do repairs is $20,588. And then what I will be paying to close on the loan to sell my property is going to be $15,117 with a sell price of $430,000 and a remaining loan amount of $178,740. And then adding in the rental income that I have received, that $91,088, we get a total profit of $207,444. That is after everything is all said and done. But remember, that doesn't include any tax write-offs that I've been able to get. So what it took me to get into the property, those closing costs and the down payment, plus finishing my basement so I could have an extra bedroom to rent out, it would be $36,913. And if we divide that by the profit that I've been able to make, that $207,444. 
That gives me 600% return on investment. I don't know about you, but I feel like that is a very good ROI return on investment. And not to mention the fact that I am not paying any capital gains tax on this investment because I have lived in it the entire five plus years that I have owned it. And I am not making a profit over $250,000. And even if I was making a profit over the 250,000, I could deduct out the amount I spent on finishing the basement. This is a really great investment that I don't have to pay taxes on when I sell it, which is another great benefit of investing in real estate. Comment below and tell me if you are going to invest in real estate or if you already are investing in real estate. Hopefully you liked seeing this real life example and seeing the actual numbers of what is possible with real estate and house hacking. And if you did, please hit that like button and share it with someone else who would like to hear this information and hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the little bell to get notified on when I post new new videos. And if you want to see more content from me, check out the videos on the side of the screen. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.